If you are developing an application for today's internet, you cannot simply stay with JSP or Timeleaf that is with the server-side templating because your users will not expect that after clicking a button or a link, a whole page will be reloading. What is the trend today instead is rich client applications. That means uh, in the client side, you will have uh, JavaScript, for example, AngularJS or mobile apps. And in the server side, you will have some API like a REST API. And for developing these kind of APIs, Spring Framework is a great solution. But the default configurations of Spring Framework favors server side templating like JSP or Timeleaf. And so if you are planning to develop a REST API or some API using Spring Framework, you have to do some tricky configurations like you have to code uh, the login and logout success and failure handlers you have to customize csrf handling you have to take care of cors etc and you also have to lay out some patterns and base classes and utilities for handling validation security etc in a great manner there are multiple articles and material available on the internet for how to do all these but the problem is that you will have to assemble all those, take the up-to-date and recent knowledge and put that into action in your project. You have to actually write code for all these tricky things and uh, you have to maintain that code because Spring Framework will be advancing rapidly and uh, new things come. So you have to keep maintaining that non-functional code which becomes a burden on your project. So we thought to come out with uh, an open source project taking care of all this stuff. And the name of the project is Spring Lemon, which takes care of all the things which can be included in your uh, Spring Boot project. And you can start coding your business logic straight away. And it also has a complete user module with features like uh, shine up, login, log out, uh, forgot password, change email, and all those kind of user user uh, module stuff. And it also has CAPTCHA validation. So hope it will be useful to you guys. And uh, it has got great documentation. It has got a great getting started guide. And go ahead and check that out.